the marlin in itself, right? Does he run the show out there? The, the blue marlin is the king, yeah. He runs yeah. the show? So yeah, no sure. shark is, I mean, he, no. he runs the show, right? What, what always blows my mind is... Um, People are spending billions of dollars that marlin, chasing blue marlin around this world. Yeah. Not just Florida, not just the Mid-Atlantic, Caribbean, you know, Africa, the Indian Ocean. I mean, they're, they're, they're worldwide. They, they run the show. And what, what blows my mind is the fact that that fish being... What do they get? 1,400, 1,800, or what, what, what's, what's the biggest blue ever caught? Uh, or whatever. Unofficially, yes. probably 1,600. 1,600. And it's, what, I'm not going to Hawaii. Yeah. It's, it's sitting right there. But, but the thing is, is that fish has got to eat. And he's eating tunas. Mm -hmm. All right, so how many things that you know in the ocean that can swim around and catch a tuna? <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, that's like a cheetah. Sim Rads into the blue, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. We got this great opportunity to come down during the last day of the uh, Key West Blue Marlin Tournament. And who, who's going to pass that up? It's, it's July, the weather's beautiful. On a ride in today, there was boats coming from every different direction. They probably maxed out the amount of boats that they're allowed, they can even keep in Key West. You know, that, that's bigger than any uh, sailfish tournament I saw this year. So the people came here from all over the Gulf of Mexico, you know, uh, professional teams that pull plugs, or, or we saw the Floridians here. She's one of the top uh, sailfish boats in the world out of uh, Fort Pierce. So you got there, you got a master dredger versus a master plugger. They're all here trying to get that one blue marlin bite. And, and it's not just uh, the fact that this is the destination, the destination, right? It, it's not for the fishing, but it's also for the fact that you got a lot going on. You got the Hemingway Days going on. Uh, you know, right now there's all kinds of events taking place in Key West. You know, marlin fishing was one of his favorite things to do. Um, so he went all around the world fishing marlin. This was one of his stops. He has the Hemingway House here. They have a, a swim, a bike thing that I entered you in. You don't know about it. They'll be calling for you in the morning. <laughs> Number on my chest. Yeah. I'm in my way. Walker on the back. We went the extra nine yards for this one. Actually caught our own bally for this tournament. Hopefully to make a big difference. Heavier scales, a little better color. Lasts a lot longer when you're trolling them. You don't have to change them out as often. Another reason to live, love living in the Keys, you catch your own bait every day. Have a big old blue marlin stick his face in a dredge tomorrow. Pluck him off with a nice soft head. Chugger. Game on. Should be, be there. Lines in at 8 o'clock. We'll be out there. We were ready. We're absolutely ready, 100% ready. We had a great game plan, had a good boat, we had great tackle, we did everything we needed. Brought my, my deckhand Tyler along. You know, he did a lot of the pre-work for us because we, were, you know, we weren't ready to do this. We, had, we just got to blast minute Well, you need call. help. You need help. When you're running dredges and you're, um, uh, you know, running all these natural bait dredges and you're running natural bait, uh, combinations you, you need a little bit of help um you saw oh, how actually, we, we need a lot of help and he did a lot of the work for us before yeah. we even got home yeah but when we got here the coolers are ready we just had to load them up with bait that was already prepared for us the backs are broken they're prepared we just had to put them into the dredge pins mm -hmm. and then rig some baits to actually with hooks yeah. you see any of these big guys that are competing in any of these tournaments fishing for marlin the boat is full, you know what I mean? Oh, it's yeah. basically, we're gonna put as many as we can on the boat until there's too many in the way, because there's tons of things to do. If somebody hooks up, you got a lot of lines to bring in. You got a lot of stuff to bring back now, in the boat. Those dredges don't, they're not user friendly. All right, Scotty, so this is uh, the last day of the Marlin tournament. Uh, what, mid-June here? Uh, Hemingway days? Dude. It's July. July. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you're <laughs> taking some time. All right, it's a Dram Buoy. It's the biggest one in Key West. Yeah. 75 uh, boats. Yep, yep. And they have all kinds of activities go on. It brings a lot of people to the Keys. Uh, it's not just a Marlin tournament. There's a Hemingway lookalike contest. Yeah, I've been seeing got, them all over town. Yeah, That's you crazy. got 100. 
grandpas with white beards, and I'm not too far off, actually. <laughs> to try that. We'll get you in yeah, one of these to years. Try it. But uh, it's celebrating uh, Hemingway's uh, birthday. The one event is the fishing tournament, and that's what we're going to partake in. Well, that's, um, that's what we do. <laughs> and, 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 you know, it's, it's got dolphin, we got tunas, we got sailfish. Um, yeah, you're, we're allowed to weigh one fish, one dolphin fish, and we, if, if you catch a sail, get points for one sail. You can't target sails. They don't want you staying on the edge of the reef, but you yeah. get a nice bump of 50 points. That's what it takes sometimes to win this thing. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. They're trying to focus strictly on uh, marlin because I believe Hemingway, that was his favorite fish to go after, and he traveled, you know, all over Cuba and, you know, pretty much probably all anywhere he could go. That there was a good marlin bite, he was there. So uh, Key West was one of his stops, and they're just trying to bring that all back to life and, and react the old days. Yeah, I think he, he must have had something to do with uh, the running of the bulls as well, because I believe uh, my kids are going downtown. To oh, their, Papa to their... did run with the bulls. Yeah, and, so they so, got a bunch Key of- Key West, they have a little different twist to it. Yeah, <laughs> I think there's a bunch of keg beer that they <laughs> strap together, and they put horns and wheels on them, and they have to race with the kegs from- <laughs> One end of the other. Yeah, exactly, so. Can we get in time for that? Rants into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin, Bubba Blade, the ultimate sportsman's knife, Key West, close to perfect, far from normal, and by Seagar, Under Armour, and Tailwalker Charters. All right, Walker, we're, we're right outside the wall here, it's where it drops from like 900 to 1200 feet of water. Yeah, man. Um, and they just had lines in, so let's go ahead and put them in and uh, right. see if we can. Me and uh, Tyler are going to put the dredge together. Yeah. I'll, once you take and start putting our leaders on the rods, they're all pretty all right. ready to go. Just pull four off and yep. set them on there for us. You got it, buddy. Does it pull matter out, which one comes out. off first or what? Uh, just start at that loop. Let's put it on top. Okay. Let's go ahead and just grab a handful of them, set them down there. We'll start plugging them in. On the big on the big chain here, just put one on the outside and one on the drop. Don't put any on the inside. That'll give us 12 out there. Well, think about what the dredge is. It's an umbrella rig, and it's 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 undulating, and we got mullet or ballyhoo on it, and even artificial lures nowadays. But it's it can have be one tier, two tier, or three tier. It's how big a reel you want to pull, how many baits you want to rig. But you know, I remember the first dredge I ever saw. I was in Cancun in the early 80s. It was just an actual uh, rockfish umbrella that someone put four mullet on. But he smoked everybody. And it went from four mullet to now 30 to 40 mullet. So it's really neat now, you know, they've allowed these recorders to go into these dredges. And so not only are you just going to tell a story of, oh, they work great, you know, and you can actually show the story. I mean, we've got footage from Ocean oh, City. Oh, man, He's, his, his face is right there, hello. Yeah. And he swings away and he looks at it again. And, and there's another one way off to the side chasing the other drag, but, but we don't know they're there yet. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, we, we got a couple white marlin flags flying and it's life is good. Are you gonna, I mean, the fish go to the, the major dredge mm -hmm. every time. Yeah. Um, they're, they're after the ball, the ball of bait that helps uh, obviously bring up a bite. It, it, it worked really well. Uh, you know, for these guys for years. It's something that it's almost uh, hard to, to try to even compete without a dredge. You can't, you can't, you just can't. This is the committee boat, this is the committee boat. It is now 8.30, lines in the water for the third and final day of the Drambuie Key West Marlin Tournament. Good luck, everybody. All right, Stevie. Yeah, man, we're on top of the Marlin right now. We're hanging it over. Beautiful double dredge. The spot's as good as any. We're gonna make the marlin spot. Look at, that, that, look at that thing. Yeah, with that dredge, he's coming to us. Look at that thing. We're gonna get a bait right on top of that, about 10 feet behind it. But the, I'm gonna use the propellers as a teaser, so I'm not gonna go too far. All right. All right, we're good. Yeah. We're probably gonna go faster, so tighten it up pretty good. All right, right? Tyler, let's all bring you this, this rigger here. Get the bait on it. Go. Take it back on that cooler, get her tied up nice and tight, get your scissors out. Here's what you're gonna do. Just, just set it right here. Just gonna open this up. Like that. Now, pull on these two strings. Pull on them. 
Oh, Keep I coming. got you. Come on down, come on down, come on down, come on down. Keep going. Beautiful. Now, do a couple half hitches. That's a nice Got your favorite piece. little pink head on there, Scotty. This is the one, baby. This is the one. This is a one-time rig. And now, once you get it nice and tight on there, it's going to troll and pop all day. Now you can trim with your scissors. I'll start this one out. Beautiful. That dog will hunt. There it is. All right. Starting out of the rigger there. Come on, Jedi. Do the Marlin dance, man. <laughs> All we need is one, baby. You have no idea how happy is the trolling baits. Remember in Middle East, including Key West and Marathon, for today, mostly sunny this morning, becoming partly cloudy this afternoon with a chance of showers and thunderstorms, highs in the lower 90s, light and variable winds, chance of rain 30%. For tonight, partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms, lows in the lower 80s, east winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. What is that, Tyler? Piece of styrofoam? Piece of fiberglass? To look like. Somebody's insulated cooler. On the flat line. Get your lure. Oh, I thought you about the secret <laughs> lure. <laughs> the secret lure. Go, Tyler. Little dolphin. Nice little dolphin. Oh, 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 oh. You're good, you're good. How far down? Are you back out or are you still down? Boat. No, I'm right at the leader right now. He's good. Let me get the Welcome to the front. Out. Smooth move. Smooth move. Okay. Yeah. Where's he hooked? Right in the corner. Got the bail open. You want. Ready? Hold the lid up. One, two, three. Slammer! That was the secret lure, Scotty. That's a secret lure. I would have had two, but I missed him on the rigger. Let's go. See, got your eyeballs on her? Yeah, we'll go back by her. Got that cheetah lure out there. Strong work. You were supposed to catch me a marlin. Huh? Marlin! Think bigger. I'm working on it. We got to warm up a little bit. All right, all right. That's a good warm up fish. The tournament was started in 1982 uh, by Norman Wood. Uh, the area out off of Key West that we fish is known as Wood's Wall. And it's an area that he found that he thought Hemingway probably did, because Hemingway was the only person that ever caught marlin off Key West. The tournament's in its 32nd year, and it took a seven-year hiatus, and so the new tournament, that's what we direct, was started in 1999, and this is the 16th year of the new tournament. Want to see more of Into the Blue? Well, you don't have to wait for the show to be on. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or even our YouTube channel for full-length shows. We have some how-to videos, amazing pictures. We'd love y'all to come over, ask us some questions, post your own pictures, or just enjoy ours. See you there. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Plano, Shimano, and Spear One Charters. Whether I'm fishing on the end of the blue or on my charter boat, we tie a lot of fishing knots. But I tie one knot in particularly all the time, especially when I'm sail fishing, tuna fishing, or generally offshore. The knot I tie the most is a snell. I'm gonna go ahead and tie a snell for you with some uh, fluorocarbon uh, from Seaguar, the new pink label. It's uh, their newest line of fluorocarbon. Seaguar fluorocarbon is the finest fluorocarbon I've ever used. I've tried them all. They've never let me down. They're the, they're the most chafe resistant, strongest fluorocarbon on the market today. So the way to make a Schnell is first off, you want to bring the leader 
into the hook from underneath. And then we're going to just take it and make a loop on the shank. Leave about two inches of bitter end on your tag line and then there, everything's in your thumb and forefinger and the loop. Now you're going to do is just tie this loop back to, your, back to the hook eye seven or eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going to pinch that all together. You have seven tight wraps, the loop, and the tagline. Now what we got to do is actually pull the tagline out. When that happens, you get a nice beehive right there. The leader's going through the hook there. And now we're just to finish the knot, we're just take a pair of pliers and pull tight. Trim that close. There's your quick snow. You can pull it up to the hook eye if you'd like. But now you've got the leader coming out underneath the hook. What that does is when the fish bites, it rolls into the corner of the mouth. You can't beat it. Seaguar Pink Label, besides being the best fluorocarbon on the market, also gives a portion of the proceeds to the National Breast Cancer Foundation. For more tips and step-by-step -step instructions, go to intheblue.tv. What's that? Hopefully it's a marlin. I got it. It's the smallest dolphin in the world. Check this out. There you go. I saw it coming. I was like, what? Is it a fin? There's two prizes, dude. It's the biggest dolphin and the smallest dolphin. i never seen anything like this in my life. He was jumping. That's awesome, dude. Have you ever seen anything like that, Steve? Huh? Check it out. Yeah, yeah. Hold on to him. I got to put this away. What's cool is that joker tried to eat that thing. You know what it was? He would try to eat this, and he thought this was trying to eat it. You know what I mean? So he's he was like, chasing oh, I'll beat it. You to I was it. like, the, like a, a little sail fin coming. Awesome, man. He, he's not gonna make the limit. No, he's not 20 inches. That's cool as heck, man. Wow, that is really wow. cool. Look at that thing. I've never, I've never. I've seen little bitty ones in aquariums, you know, I think they shake them out of the grass. But that's a that's a pretty small one right there. Awesome, man, back in the water. Come back when you're 50 pounds. <laughs> Redo this belly. Presented by Yellowfin has been brought to you in part by Simrad, go with confidence. Mercury Marine, number one on the water. And by Costa and Ameritrail. Participation in the Marlin Tournament is a big boat primarily tournament. Uh, we fish for three days, we fish 22 miles offshore, and uh, it's according to what comfort level you want to be. Uh, I personally fish in a 36-foot boat, but there's a boat behind me across here. It's a 72-foot boat, so it's according to how you want to fish. We do raffles and auctions which support different charities in our community, and that's where the money goes. The tournament money itself goes back to the participants. Marlin fishing is one of the kings of fishing. It's one of the hardest forms. If you ever caught a marlin, you'll chase them all over the world, and most of these participants fish marlin tournaments all over the world. Yeah, they got one in 915 and one just now. What was the other boat one trying to relay? He's what you got there, Tyler? Another mahi? Little mahi. That's one we're after. Playing in the weeds. About to get me tangled up with them. Dinner for two. Dinner for two. Dinner for two and a little salad along with it. <laughs> oh, that big old barracuda about to eat my long bait. How about that, Scotty? 
What do you got, another fish? No, big giant barracuda. <laughs> All right, let's see if you'll stay on. In the box. Nice, man. <laughs> we'll eat that. <laughs> as far away as we are, I think that's fair. Take a take. All right, I think that's lines out, boys. All right, out of gear. Get the stuff wound up. Turned out that the fellow who won the tournament, he actually won it with a white marlin. Um, you know, there's blue marlin out here. Unfortunately, there wasn't one caught this year. Um, uh, you know, the white marlin is still a really cool fish. He's, he's more of like a sports car. You yeah. know, he can't get as big. And the blue marlin, he's a huge animal that can and, and can go from, from one end to the other of the spectrum. Absolutely. The thing is, is we have them here. Mm -hmm. And if you actually put your time in and use the right equipment, the right rigs, I mean, you're going to get some shots. You're going to get shots. And whether you have the right stuff or not, you're going to get bit anyway. Just the other if day. If you were dolphin fishing, yeah. you could throw a ballyhoo at a bird. One ballyhoo. Yeah, you could be looking you come over up there. with a 150 pound blue marlin. Be just looking, like that. You can be looking over there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then turn around and Robbie been over and there'd be a blue marlin on. It happens every day. That's why we love um, living here. And, and that's and that's <laughs> a neat thing. And, and it's an amazing fish again. You know, he's probably up there at the top. I mean a shark is pretty pretty fast and pretty uh, you know, he's doing his own on the who's the badass of the ocean. Mm -hmm. But the marlin has probably, you know, surpassed him because I don't think the Marlin has to pick on the week. I think he just picks whatever he wants and he gets it.